Hi, I'm Julia Etherington. I'm here at Cheltenham Racecourse where 250,000 people are expected to watch the racing live this week. Let's find out what it's really like to live here. Are there any plus points? Like, do you see it from your bedroom windows? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, the atmosphere is great. The um, what, one of the things we do particularly like, as well, is is you know where we, we are next to the race course. The um, they're never going to build there, basically. Um, so you know what it's like now. They're building everywhere, and we often think sort of going through Quedgley there'll be people there their houses they built this little group of houses that were on their own and now they're surrounding them with yeah. houses so that's a plus and the majority of the time there's nothing there happening so it's just easy I suppose it's peaceful generally and also there's very easy access to the countryside so that same path goes up to the top of the race course I think they use it for helicopters when the um, races is on, yeah. but you just like five minutes and you can be walking in with the Cleve Hill and the countryside out there. So we we love living here. Do you basically, go to the races at all? sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes. You don't get a discount or anything. No, no. <laughs> they did once give us a, fr a free ticket. They did a a PDS. Was it PDSA? It was it was a pet charity. Did a concert up there, and we had free tickets, and we saw Razor Light and. Jesse J and a couple of others. That was that was amazing. We used to have fence through the passageway, which you're overlooking, and we used to sort of go there on every sort of Grand Gold Cup day. Yeah. You'd go around to their house and you'd walk out and watch yeah. it flash past, and then you'd come back again. So you'd enjoy yourself. You yeah. Know? It, was a, it was a day, you know, day out. So you, yeah, we. I still do that occasionally. I think they? everyone gets a, the sense of the atmosphere yeah. on this is, on this estate and the, and the yeah, houses Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the whole thing, it's the whole bit. It's, I think Cheltenham would be very sad to have not to have it. Yeah. And it's good for Cheltenham because it actually brings everything into it and yeah. you, we get shops and that from it, don't we? Business, so yeah. Everybody makes a, the mint on the week that it's here and, and that's why it goes. I mean, at one time parking was a bit of a nightmare, mm. um, but now they close off this road um, for residents only. Yeah. So we don't really have a problem. So you don't have people trying to park because they'll get fined. No, we used to, we used to, but yeah. they, that that's stopped over the last few years. I mean, you're aware of people out the back shouting because our road, uh, the road out the back of the garden, you know, you can hear them shouting and that. But um, no, it doesn't give us a problem here. As you can see, it's, it's fairly quiet up here. We do see people picking the litter up, but. You know, with any big crowd, you're going to get people trampling down plants as they walk through the park and yeah. um, and, and dropping litter. So. so you've never had anyone come into your property at all? I had a parking cone thrown over the fence a couple of years ago, okay. and that's about it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's good to see the people coming here. I think the festival's changed from what it used to be like a few years ago when it was the real race goers. Um, now it seems to be a lot of people go in there just to have a, have a bit of a party and enjoy themselves yeah. but uh, whether they've got interest in horses or not I don't know but no it, it, it doesn't give us a problem I mean we know next week that we come in and out when the traffic when they've gone into the races and we go in and out um, then so yeah it, it doesn't so when you problem. when you go out in your car is is that, do you have to wait a long time in traffic um, well no no because normally when we go out we, we go out after about one o'clock in the afternoon you and come in again it. at four o'clock, so yeah. um, so we time the coil well. Yeah.